So the issue of Mirimiu is affecting everyone. Is affecting everyone. And, uh, and that is the reason why we are here this evening. That is the reason why we are here even this evening. There is no one who is happy about, uh, about the high prices of Mirimiu. Even our government officials, our government leaders, our ministers, the president are also worried about the issue of Mirimiu because they are concerned. They want each and every household to have actually enough food. That is their concern. That is their concern. They want to see how possible they can bring down. So yesterday I reviewed something very important about the issue of how the PF mismanaged the affairs of the nation by plundering the nation. And the in relation to what I talked about concerning the sacks of money, the trunks of money which they store, I explained how they store this money, which up to now they have stacked in their homes. Those who are, who are clever have shipped this money. They have thrown out this money. South Africa. Some have built in is it in Iswatin? Some have even built in, 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 in Uganda using money which they corruptly acquired. And now they are using the same money. They are using the same money to sabotage, to sabotage the nation. I will give, me. I speak facts. I don't speak about things that I have no clue about. Honorable... Hatstoni Maveta, good to see you, Honorable. So we are aware, we are aware about how the enemies of Zambia, those who don't love Zambia, but when they come before cameras, they will pretend like they are speaking for people, and yet they are just speaking for their berries. How they are, they, they want to capitalize on the issue of Mirimiu and try to sabotage so that they can create a shortage of Mirimiu in Zambia so that uh, they can create that uh, animosity in our country to paint a, a narrative that the government of His Excellency President Akainde Ichilema is not doing well. But we know, we know what you are doing. If we knew what you were doing when you were in power and we were in opposition and we happened to know what you were doing, what will make us fail to know what you are doing that now you are in the opposition and that now we are in the ruling party or we are in government? What will make us fail to know what you are doing? You are using the same money, the same money which you were supposed to destroy when you printed new notes in 2019. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, go back to my last video. You understand how these people use the monies which were meant to be destroyed because they had printed new notes. But after printing the new notes, these people did not destroy as per law the old notes. They kept the old notes, stacks of old notes. They shared among themselves. That is the manner which we even started seeing on the beds of cutters. That is the manner you saw people counting in their cars, bundles of money. And I said, if you looked at this money in any video which the PF cadres used to post, you will notice that you will never see any bunch of new notes on those videos. All the notes on those videos were old notes. They looked old notes because these were monies which were supposed to be destroyed after printing the new notes in 2019. But they didn't do so because they wanted to use the old notes 
for their evil activities and their campaigns in 2021. And those sacks of money up to now, some monies, those monies have been changed into dollars. Some have been changed into now the, the now currency, the new, the new notes. That is the monies which they have. And what are they doing? I want to bring this to your attention, Zambians. They are using this money now to buy maize. They are using this money. This is how they want to sabotage this issue of maize. They are using this money this time around to buy maize from our farmers. And now after buying this maize, they are buying it through some corrupt millers. There are certain milling companies which used to work with PF when PF was in power. So these are the, the they want to clean, they want to launder money this time around. They want to launder that debt money, but how do they launder it? So they've gone now into these millers. They are milling companies. They have gone into these milling companies because they are their friends. And I can tell you that some of the milling companies that was there, that was created or may or or, or 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 actually made in PF's regime, much of them are connected to PF colleagues. Much of the milling companies which came about when PF was in power. Some of the directors of those meeting companies are PF guys who used to be in power. So now they are using these millers to buy a lot of maize. And after buying these bags of maize, they are stocking it. They are not milling it. They are stocking this maize because they want to create a hunger situation, a desperate situation out of the shortage of milk. So a lot of millers, a lot of millers in Zambia are not milling their maize, which they are buying. And the money they are using is money from the PF colleagues. They are buying maize using the monies from PF colleagues. I'll even give you some of the millers in my province, in central province. I'll mention two, two milling companies in Central Province. If you want tomorrow, go to Kawe. I'll mention these companies here tonight. Go to their sheds. Inspect in their sheds. See if they are milling. See if they are milling. At a certain point, I'll mention some of these milling companies who are doing what I am talking about tonight, if you cannot believe in what I'm saying. Because what you need to do when a person brings out information, take the information, go and verify. You people that stays in Central Province, to be specific, Kikawe, to be specific, Kikawe, Go and check at Chamo meeting sheds. See the stacks that are there, the stacks of maize, and see if they are milling, milling you at a full capacity. These are solutions we are we are bringing. These are solutions we are bringing because you don't know what is happening. You don't know what is happening. And these people who are working against this government are really not working against government. They are working against you. You and me who cannot afford to buy milk. It is you people that they are, uh, they are working against. It's not government. It's not government. It is you and me that they are troubling because it's you and me who cannot afford to buy milk. So jam is it Chamo Chamo milling in Kabo is one of those milling companies, which is just buying a lot of maize and they are not milling. 
What has made them to stop meeting? What has made them to stop meeting? What has made them to stop meeting in Kabwe? What has made them to stop meeting in Kabwe? The other, the, the, the other meeting company is Grant. Grant meeting. So for you people who, you, 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 you people who are, who are journalists in central province, when you get information like this, go to those meeting companies, go to their sheds, go and verify. If they are stacking plenty, plenty bags of maize and check if they are milling at a full capacity or if they are milling at all. So I'm just talking about, I've just talked about my province, but this thing is happening in every province. And this is the reason why this time around, We need to ask ourselves, when did the thing like this happen? Where the, 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 the prices of Mirimiu could you sky, sky locate in September, in, 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 in August, July and August? When? When did the thing like this happen? It has never happened before. Every time we have high prices of Mirimiu, starting in December, January and February, not this time around. What is happening this time around is politics. Is politics and we are aware. We are aware of what is happening. Because the PF guys are using these millers. Plenty millers in Zambia. In Lusaka they are there. In Copper Belt they are there. Not every miller. No. Selected milling companies which, are, which have directors of PF cadres. This is what they are doing. In Copper Belt, they are there. In Northwestern, they are there. In Western Province, they are there. And that is the reason why all of a sudden, a sudden the prices of minimum is going up. But we can tell you that we are aware of what we are doing. And when you do that, and now you start piloting, you start piloting Imweba PF. I'm here for you this evening. I'm here for you. Even for people like, especially for people like Bachimba Kamwiri. I'm here for you. I heard your rantings today. I heard your rantings today. And I've heard a lot of PF guys complaining, complaining on media that the prices of Mirimiu is too high. You are hypocrites. You are hypocrites. You PF cadres who are complaining that the prices of minimum is too high in Zambia. You are hypocrites because you you cannot even complain. In Angubunga, we pay two thousand five hundred. You can afford to buy because Mwaliba ni mwa You are thieves. You have stolen. Angubunga na one million kwacha. You can afford to buy. So it is not you who should complain. It is not you PF cadres who should complain because you have stolen. You have made our people to be poor. And let our people who are poor complain, not you. You have no moral rights to complain about the high prices of Mirimiu. Because you have stolen, you can afford to buy Mirimiu even when the bag of Mirimiu is at 2,000 kwacha. You can afford to do that. So you are mocking Zambians. You are, not, you are not speaking on behalf of the suffering Zambians. You are speaking for your egos. And you are lying through your teeth to the Zambian people to show, to paint a picture that you are with them when you have stolen. And now you are packing maize in storages and you are not allowing millers to me, to, to me, 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 so that me, me, you can be cheap. So people like you at Shimba Kamwili, you, 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 you have no moral right. You, you have no moral right to complain about the prices of minimum. Because you are thieves. It is you at Shimba Kamwili. It is you through your teeth 
who told us, the Zambian people, that President Ed Galungu was going to be jailed after he lose elections because he's a thief. That's what you told us. You said the PF is a party of thieves. That's what Imola Chimba Kambuiri told us. We never forced you to tell Zambians that PF was corrupt. You ne we never forced you. Zambians never forced you to tell Zambians that the ministers were corrupt. It is you who opened our eyes that President Lungu and his ministers were corrupt, that they were thieves. And you said that if you are going to go back to PF, then you are a lunatic. Chipena. Chipena. A lunatic is Chipena Muchimangwe. So we cannot listen to you, a lunatic. Because it is you yourself who told us that if you go back to a part of thieves, then you are a lunatic. That's what you said. And today we see you speaking from the same political party you said it is a political party of thieves. And you want to sympathize with the Zambians, the people you don't even love. The people you were killing when PF was in power. You were killing people you were PF. So which moral right do you have to start complaining about Mirimi when you are the people who have stolen money when you can even afford the bag of Mirimi even if it was at 50,000 coach but PF you can afford so stop mocking Zambians because their cries are genuine not you not you not you not you not you because you are a lunatic that's what you told us that's what you said. You told us what Shimba Kambwiri. That in the way that we have to be So we have And we don't want a lunatic to be speaking on behalf of Zambians. Let the same people speak for Zambians. I heard your rantings today where you were saying you have given an ultimatum to President Aka Inde. Which ultimatum can you give to President Aka Inde Ichirima? A man you demonized, a man you said is not worthy to be president. A man you said can never be president because of where he's coming from. To do to you, President Takaende Ishlema, he's not a president. Because you said he can never be a president. And how can you give him an ultimatum? Who are you? Who are you? Should we listen to a lunatic? Should we listen to a lunatic? So allow the suffering Zambians, to 50, 280. 300 kwacha, allow them to complain to their president. Allow them to cry to their president, not you, but Shimba Kambwidi. Because you have no moral right. You are not upright in your dealings. And only fools can believe your information. Only fools. Only those who cannot remember what you used to say some two days ago. I heard you say, no, you have given an ultimatum to President Daka in the HDM. Who are you? Who are you? Bachimba. Who are you, Bachimba Kambui? You read a corrupt government when you were in PF. A party full of criminals, killers. How many people did you kill? How many people did you kill as PF government? And how many people do you want to kill when you come back into power? And you think... We are stupid as UPND to allow you to come back into power. Mugapiti la kui? Because Mwarifi Roku Pita Imova PF, let me tell you. Mwarifi Roku Pita, when you were in power, in Eastern Province, Mwari Rembeshava Karamba won Sabafiashwe Swaba Kote Mwava Rembeshama Amaena Rasi, Mwava Pela Ma Voters Card, Mwayaku Kuriba Namayo, Abakashana, Mwava Pela Mena Rasi, Mwava Pela Ma Voters Card, Mwayakuwa Iche, Abani Nama Seventeen, Ama Two of Yezi, Mwava Pela, Ama Amaena Rasi, Nama Voters Card, Mwava Pela Abani Two of Yezi, Mwayakuwa Iche Abani Nama Six Years, you give them, you give them NRCs and uh, voters cards. Abani Nama Six Years. So that they can come and vote for President Lungu in twenty in twenty twenty one. After that, Mwari Munokovati, Imba Bantuba Lembe Shaba Eche, Navakalam, Baku Eastern Province, Central Province, a, uh, uh, Northern Province, Lua Province, even part of Copper Belt Province. You saw that the people were not enough. You even registered dogs. You even 
gave NRCs to dogs. After giving NRCs even to people, other each other in four years, you thought they were not enough. You started registering even dogs so that they can vote in the 2021 elections. And they voted. Did you win? Did you win 2021 elections? You disenfranchise, disenfranchise the Amantuaku Southern Province. Amantuaku Southern Province, you didn't register people there. You didn't register people in Western Province. Part of Central Province, you, you, you didn't register there, people. You didn't give, give them NRCs. You did not give them voters' cards. And this time around, we are calling upon ECZ. For the injustice you did in Southern Province, Western Province, Northwestern Province, part of Central Province, we are calling upon ECZ, Nava National Registration, whatever offices. Ukuya mkupela ma NRC. Ukuya mkupela ma NRC. Kuba to work Southern Province. Be there even for one year. From Southern Province, go to Northwestern. You need to be there for over one year. From there, go to Northwestern. You need to be there for one year. Mkupela ma NRC, Imova National Registration. Elonga mwafuma po. Mufilo kubwe kela mkupela. Mufilo kubwe kela mkupela. Ama, 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 ama voters card. We want to see you registering. Now I have in for 14 years, the 12 years. The way PF did it. The way PF did it. We want you to go and register. And when it comes to give NRCs in the central province, in the northern province, in the eastern province, don't take much time there because they registered all the people after registering all the people. They even registered dogs. So there is no need for you to give them NRCs there because they already have NRCs. Aba quite 13 years. That is quite more my NRCs. So which people are you going to give NRCs in South in, in, in Northern Province? Which people are you going to give NRCs and, and voters' cards in, in, in Muchinga province? You have already given them. So the only provinces you should concentrate on is the southern province, northwestern, and western province, and part of central province. The people you denied their rights. That's what we want. That is what we want. And I heard you at Shimbakamwili saying, you've been quiet for some time. Now you start talking. And you don't know that we've also been silent. We've also been silent at Shimbakamwili. If President Echechi cannot answer you, in Nepal, one day, but you become willy, Tokula, Sidamuana and the movie, and Tokula in Banana Mamumeno, to him Banana Mamumeno. You'll be saying A, I'll say B. That's the police. So much, you become willy, you are nothing. Actually, you are a lunatic, Chipena, according to your words. So, <laughs> a sane Zambian cannot even have time to listen to you. Who are you to force President Daka in the where he should stay? Who are you? Who are you? What have you put in the state house? Where are you wanting to go there? What have you put there in that Chinkwazi house? What have you put there? Why are you forcing him to go there? Uh -uh. What have you put? In the state house where you are forcing the man to go there. What have you put there? Fish mwashi kamo. Fish mwashi kamo mu state house. You are forcing a man to go You kuka, kuka, kuka. Kuka. You are chimba kamu ilibari kufosinga po kukira munga ndiyo taule fwai. Nda mwari befiwa. Because kwa ba maya nda na kuruwa nisho kuku ino kuhikala kuri ya maya ndamo umuwa befiwa. And some people are saying you are wrong. Yes, I can't be right to all of you people. God didn't create me for, 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 for me to be pleasing everyone. That is not my duty to be pleasing all of you. No. I don't, it's not actually, I'm not forcing you to love me. It's fine. So if you want to hear sweet words from me, because, I mean, you're in PF. No, I don't have, I don't have time for that.